Hello everyone, it's Trina here from There's a Card for That.ca and today I'm going to be making this cute little unicorn card using some stamps from the Greeting Farm. Um, I'm going to be using the unicorn from Hello Unicorn and the greeting is from Be a Unicorn. Um, it's kind of like an encouragement card and it's kind of my thing right now and I'm not sure why. Like, you know, when I'm sad I make sympathy cards and when there's a lot of birthdays I make birthday cards and I'm just doing the encouragement thing. So, anyway, all of the images, all of them, <laughs> there's one, there's one image. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's early and legit, it's early this time, not like last time where it was like after 10.30. It's like before 8 right now on a Saturday. <laughs> so, anyway, the one image is stamped with Memento Tuxedo Black ink on 110 pound Copic friendly cardstock um, because we are going to be coloring this in with Copic markers. And because I'm using the Misty, I decided I was going to stamp the greeting at the same time and just get that over and done with. Um, you don't have to use a stamping platform. I do. It was like the best thing that I had ever purchased in my life. Um, had I known how much stress the stamping platform, whether it be the one from Tonic, which I think is discontinued now, um, and they're just selling out whatever stock they have, the Tim Holtz Tonic one, um, or the Stampin' Up! platform, and I think there's one kicking around at Michael's, at least there is in Canada now, and then there's this one the Misty from My Sweet Petunia, um, had I known how much stress of like, who is my, is my greeting straight or am I, am I restamping this perfectly that one of these takes out of, I would have gotten this right from the beginning. And I know when you look at it, it's like crazy expensive and you're like, Ooh, I don't know if I want to do that. You do just, just trust me on this. You do. If greeting cards or stamping anything is kind of your thing, you want this. <laughs> like, there's just, there's just no way around it. Like, I don't know how many cards I threw out in the beginning because I had to restamp a greeting and then it moved or I moved or it just still wouldn't stamp and it just looked terrible. And, uh, yeah, I think I've saved a lot of money on paper and ink because I haven't restamped and thrown things out since I got the Misty, so it's been fantastic. Um, this is going to go up early, which I feel makes up for how late my last Monochrome Monday was, so I'm just going to put, be, it's going to be like the series that's Monochrome Mondays or thereabouts, <laughs> because I'm never going to get them up on time, it's just not going to happen. Um, but this week, I'm going to go with purples. So the Copics that I'm using are BV00, BV02, V12, and V15. I don't have a lot in the way of purple, and I don't know why. I mean, it's not my favorite color. We know that. Like, orange is my favorite color. And, well, coral is my favorite color, but orange is, like, right up there. Um, but I use purples a whole lot more than I th ever thought I would. And I just never thought, like, oh, maybe maybe I should expand my purple collection. And I haven't. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't have a lot in the way of go-tos for purple combinations. But this is what I got. So this is what we're doing. So I used the lighter colors, the BVs, on her hair. Um, just using the O2 on the bottoms and in some of the waves just to give it a little bit of highlight. And then the BV... Zero, 0 for the lighter areas and then for her body it's not skin it's hair hair for the rest of her <laughs> I'm using uh, V15 in the darker areas where I want my shadows to be and then V12 to blend that out and then I think I go back with the BV00 zero zero for like the inside of her ears Maybe. I don't know. It's been a while. I recorded this. Hey. Uh, three weeks ago. And I'd like to tell you that I've been super busy. That's not it. Nope. I've been super lazy. Super, super lazy. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
Anyway, uh, so I'm going to cut down my card base here and I just cut a piece of regular sized paper, uh, 110 pound as well, in half and I score it at the four and a quarter line. So it's standard A2 size side folding card and total size will be four and a quarter by five and a half inches. Um, I'm going to add a piece of 65 pound purple-ish lilac maybe, mauve, I don't know, uh, paper for like my layering level because I really like that border look. And then I'm just using my dollar store tape runner um, to adhere all of the pieces together. And then because it's a unicorn, we're gonna bling it up and it's going to be super fun and sparkly. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with my clear Wink of Stella and that's gonna go over her horn and over all of her hair, but not on her body. So like her mane and her tail. And I think I do two two, maybe three, I don't know. We'll see real quick, won't we? Um, layers of this. I had done a blog post, I don't know, maybe like a year ago about what happens when you go a little bit crazy with your layers with Claire Wynn Costella. <laughs> like the whole big, like the whole image looks like it's covered in like this super fine, like glit dust or something like that. It's not, it's just layer after layer of Wynn Costella. And then I am going to take out my crystals from, these ones are from Pretty Pink Posh. Uh, the darkest ones are Amethyst, I think, and the other ones are Pansy Purple. I'm pretty sure that's uh, which way they go. Either way, those are the two colors. I just can't remember if they're the darkest ones or Amethyst. I think so, because that's what reminds me of this stone. Anyway, I'm just going to use a scattering of those all over the card just to make it super, super pretty. Um, the lighter one, I felt, was a really good match for the colors that I had selected for the unicorn. Um, and the darker one just set them off nicely, because who doesn't like a little bit of contrast, right? Like, nothing makes something pop like contrasting colors. Um, but it's monochrome. And it's an actual monochrome this time because when I did the one for the frog, <laughs> there was that brown log. Um, so to stick them on, I'm still using the very same DIY jewel picker toothpick tool that I had created. Like, this thing is so easy. You just dip the end of a toothpick into a little bit of Tombow Mono adhesive, the one with the green lid, the one that goes repositionable, and let it dry and you're good. I'm going to add a little bit of glossy accents over the horn and that's it for our card today. So thank you so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and the like button and comment. I love hearing from you. I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!